Hello children. I welcome you all to the math class. So today we are starting the first chapter that is first unit of mental maths. The name of the chapter is numbers and numerations. So at first we will be starting by forming four digit number. You know what a four digit number? Yes. Four digit number means it has four digit. We will start from the left hand side. The first digit will be in the, if we talk about the place value, ones, tens, hundred and thousand. So four digit number is, uh, ends in the thousand position, right? So the first chapter, the first question of the book is, color the blocks to show the given numbers and write the number names so you can see the blocks given in your book yes so these are the books and the number is given here five thousand four hundred and seventy eight so you have to count the blocks you have to color the block so i am using the pencil over here you can use the color pencil to color it with different colors okay don't use crayon color children just use pencil colors so that it will look neat and clean so i will be doing a 5478 so the first position is place value is 5000 so i will color 1 2 3 four five block so you will color you know how to color right you will color the blocks in this manner neat and cleanly okay so children here i have colored five box after that the hundreds position is 400 yes so you will color one two three four box after that tens in tens position there is seven so one two three four five six seven you will color and in one's position there's eight so one two three four five six seven eight these eight you will color okay in this manner so in this way you will color after that you have to write the number name so you will write five thousand four hundred and seventy eight Okay, so I am writing the number name 5478. Hope you all know the spelling of 1000 and 100. If you have forgot the spelling, please learn the spelling of 1000 and 100. 5478. So A I have done. There are two more sums of 1, B and C. In the same manner, you will see the numerals and you will color the block. After that, you will write the number name. So, in this manner, you will do B and C. So, children, in question number 2, write numerals for each of the following. Number name is given here and you have to write the numerals from this number name. So, I will be doing A and B. You will do C and D by yourself. So first A is 9,261. So what you will write, this is four digit number. So 9,206 ones. That means there is no tens position. So you will write zero in place of tens position and six ones. So 9,206. So children, this is the next page of your chapter, chap page number 6. So here we will practice expanded form, face value and place values. Okay. So in the first question, question number 1, write the expanded forms of the following. So I will be doing A and B, you will do C and D. <coughs> so I have already told you the place value right so here you have to expand the number seeing looking is its 
place value so first number is 9429 so the place value of 9 here is 9000 plus place value of 4 400 plus place value of 2 is 20 plus 9 yes ones tens hundreds and thousand 9429 so in this way you will expand the number 9000 plus 400 plus 20 plus 9 so next you will expand this number seeing its place value 8000 plus 100 here there's zero in tens position so you will write double zero here and one so eight thousand hundred and one so this is the way how you will expand the number now in question number two so children in question number two the expanded forms of some numbers are given below circle the numbers in the grid with different colors so expanded forms with number name is given 9000 plus 600 plus 81 so here you have to find the number in the grid and you have to circle the number with different color so let us find 9608 ones that means here there is the number value is not there in tens position so 9608 so you have to circle the numbers in the grid so please circle the number 9608 after circling the number you can color it with different colors okay i'm using your pencil color on this oh, sorry i'm using your pencil only but you will use the different color otherwise you can color here if you are coloring it pink you have to color the full 9608 with pink color understood for example now number b 9305 tens five ones here it is 9305 tens and 5 ones. So you will color, you will first circle it and color with the same color. If you are using here green color, you will use different color. Here you can use, if you are using green here, you can use pink, otherwise blue. So in this way, you will circle the number, seeing the expanded form and you have to color the number. Hope it is clear to you all. So number C, 4,300, and 1, 1. So 4,300, and 1, 1. So here also you will circle the numbers. Then after, color the numbers. So in this way you will do number 2. I have done A, B and C. D, E and F. You can do it by yourself. Okay children. So question number 3 is also about the place value and face value only so here you have to write the place value and face value of the circled digits one has been done for you so you can see question number a 9488 the circled number is 8 yes so you have to write the place value and you have to write the face value we have done this in special class also yes to find and write the place value and face value so let us do it for number b 8 4 0 0 I have told you that the place value means the position of the number and face value means the face value of the number face value remains the same only the place value of the number that is the position of the number will change so 8 4 0 6 so the place value of 0 is at year 10 so you will write double 0 and the face value of 0 is zero okay so the next c four two one six so this is ones and the place value of ones is tens so here you will write one zero this is your place value because one is in tens position and the face value obviously it will remain same like your face your face will never get changed right so here also face value will be one if i talk about d ones tens hundred thousand the circle number is six so the place value of six is ones tens hundred and thousand so you will write the place value of six is six thousand and the face value of six is six right so in this way 
we will do for e the place value of 2 2 is the circled number first you will see the circled number okay so the place value of 2 here is 2 and the face value of 2 is also 2 why place value of 2 is 2 because it is in ones position so the place value of 2 is 2 and the face value obviously it will remain same so it will be 2 only so f g h i j you will do it by yourself now children k there is fill in the blanks in k the place value of the digit depends on its dash in the number so i have already told you that the place value of the digit depends on its position okay so you will write p o s i t i o n position in the number so hope this is clear to you all. Now let us see what is there in page number 7. Now children, this is from page number 7, next page of this book. So question number 1, you can see that the number is represented on abacus. So write the number represented on each abacus then answer the question that follow. So we will count the bits and we will find the number okay we will do from right hand side from the ones position so start counting the number with me 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so there are 8 bits in ones position 1 2 2 in tens 1 through 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 in hundreds and 1 2 3 3 bits in thousand so this is 3628 now let us do for number b 1 2 3 3 for ones 1 there is one bit so one for tens one in tens position there are no bits in hundreds so we will write zero here and 1 2 3 4 5 bits in thousand so it is 5000 and 13 yes now number c 1 2 2 bits in tens 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 in sorry 2 bits in ones 6 bits in tens 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 in thousand and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 in hundred and six in thousand so it is six thousand seven hundred and sixty two i am telling it again two in ones six in tens seven in hundreds and again six in thousand so it is six thousand seven hundred and sixty two so the next question following this abacus show the number on the abacus if three bits are removed from the one spikes in a part so this is your a part and this is your one spikes yes so if i remove three bits from the a part of one's position so there are eight bits so if i remove three bits what will be my bits eight minus three is five so here i will be drawing only five bits so you will draw your five bits one two three four and 5 and remaining bits will remain same that is 1 2 in tens 1 2 3 4 5 6 in hundreds and 1 2 and 3 in thousands position right so i have done it by removing 3 bits from the ones position okay so the next e show the new number on the abacus if four bits are added to 100 spike and one bits one bit is removed from 10 spike in the b part see what question is telling this is your b part so the question is telling that you have to add four bits to 100 spikes you can see that there is no bit in a hundred spike so there is there is no bit so i will be adding four bits in hundred spike first one two three four right and one bit should be removed from ten spike so only one bit is there so i am removing the one bit so there will be no bit so rest we will keep it as same 
one, two, three in ones and five in thousand. One, two, three, four and five in thousands position. So in this way, I have done D and E. If you will do it by yourself, you have to show the new number on the abacus if three bits are removed from the thousand spike in C part. So this is your C part and there are six bits in thousand spike. So you have to remove three. So you have to subtract three from six and draw the new bits here. So if you will do it by yourself. Hope this one is clear to you people. So now next two. Suppose W stands for 4. X stands for 2. Okay. I am writing here in short form. W stands for 4. X stands for 2. Y stands for 3. And Z stands for 1. So tick the correct statement and cross out incorrect statement okay you can see the symbol of tick and cross yes you have to place a tick and cross inside the box looking at the statement so w x y z is greater than z y x w so let us first write what is w x y z okay so w is 4 x is 2 y is 3 and z is 1. So, w, x, y, z means 4231 is greater than now z is 1, y is 3, x is 2 and 4 is w. So, 4231 is greater than 1324. So, this is a correct one. Yes, you know that 4231 is greater than 1324. So, you will put the correct sign. Now B, WXY is a successor of WZX. You know successor, yes, a number which comes after it. So you know that if I am writing 1 and 2, 2 is the successor of 1 and 1 is the predecessor of 2, yes. So whenever we are writing successor, we will add 1 and whenever you are writing like 1 plus 1 is 2. So 2 is the successor and whenever you are finding predecessor, you will minus 1. So the predecessor of 2 is 1. So in this way, you will find the successor and predecessor. So WXY, let us write first what is WXY. We know that WXY is 420. 3 is a successor of W X Z. So what is W? W is 4, X is 2 and Z is 1. So 423 is a successor of 421. So children, here it is given that 423 is a successor of 421. But it is wrong. Why? Because the successor of 421 is 422. Yes. So you will put a cross sign over here. So I have done A and B. C and D you will do it by yourself. So children, in today's class, we have completed page number 5, 6 and Seven. Okay, so please do all the sums whichever I have done and whichever I have left you will practice it by yourself. Okay, children. So this much for today cla today's class. See you in the next class. Till then stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.